Samuel Chantebe can sell a bag of charcoal for $6 at the market. His bigger bags can fetch nearly $10. But Zambia's government has banned the production of charcoal in some areas, saying the practice is killing the environment and needs to stop. Number 1967. I was born in 1967 and I have been making and selling charcoal since I was a small boy. It's how my father raised his family. It's how I have been providing for my wife and children. Charcoal is made by shoveling soil onto a kiln. The wood inside burns with little oxygen, leaving the black carbon residue. For other people like Jane Mpande, charcoal is a lifeline for her family. She is one of thousands in the capital Lusaka who can't afford to always buy electricity. I use charcoal to cook beans and food for my children. I also boil water so my children can bath. This ban will be bad for us. But the government says the destruction of trees is contributing to climate change. And government leaders say a ban on charcoal is necessary to protect what's left of the country's forests. And a current drought brought on by the El Nino weather phenomenon is being made worse by deforestation and the degradation of land. The devastation is unbelievable. So we want to make a wanted to make a statement there that we have too much to lose by allowing charcoal burning in that area. So in that area, there will be no charcoal burning. Charcoal production is an age-old cultural practice in Zambia, passed down from one generation to another. Families sometimes make additional cash by selling crops they grow in the fields. But a lack of rain this season has wiped out their harvests. And they say the government's ban on charcoal production is adding to their hardship when they're already struggling to cope with that severe drought and a rising cost of living. Haru Mutasa, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.